Welcome back to the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike and I'm coming at you with another video. This time I'm going to talk to you about how to spot fraudulent or fake eBay sellers. And I've thought I wanted to do this video for a while, but I didn't really know if there's going to be an audience for it or if that many people uh, wanted it. But I've got the request, so I'm going to make it. And uh, the thing is that it's eBay does the best they can to police uh, sellers. And they, they have their thumb really firmly planted on U.S. sellers. But when it comes to the overseas sellers, and a lot of these sellers from China, because a lot of the things that we buy as Transformer collectors, we buy stuff from China a lot. And they can't police them as well. They try and they do the best they can, but it's just the lead time between when they go rogue. And when I say go rogue, means that they, they sell a whole bunch of stuff, but they don't actually ship it out, or they ship out trinkets instead, so there's a tracking to follow. But with that lead time, it's not as fast. In the U.S., they can shut a, U, a fraudulent U.S. seller down in a snap. But when it comes to overseas, it takes a little bit longer. So you have to protect yourself. Now, you're going to get your money back, whatever. You're protected. But the reality of it is you don't, you don't want to wait two months, three months to get your money back. Uh, so let me, let me give you the top five things to look for, the top five red flags of uh, fraudulent U.S. sellers. Now, before I get into that, I want to wrap something up from the last video. The, the lot of, I think a lot of people thought I was going to tell them how to identify a knockoff transformer, and you can't really. Uh, if they say it's a knockoff, you know it's a knockoff. If they try to sell you an official and a knockoff arrives, then you have a case. You have to open a case. That's a whole different story, and, uh, and it is what it is. They can misrepresent products all day long on eBay, and uh, you have to check your feedback to see if this kind of seller does that stuff. But... Uh, also, people are saying that the, the KO, uh, there's some plus side swipes and red alerts, and I've, I, I heard that, and I checked into it, and I do see that on Amazon, but not, uh, and, and I think a couple of them on eBay, but then again, eBay, the I don't, I don't know if I can trust those sellers anyway, but the thing is, are they really KOs, or are they factory seconds, and that's a big question about a lot of this stuff that's coming out right now. Uh, there's a big difference between a KO and a factory second, but a factory second sold as a KO, so there's no liability falling back on Takara, and and that's just how it goes. And then Wakara, Kantara, Kantara, Takara could dump their uh, the ones that didn't meet their quality control, and dump them for real cheap on on somebody that will turn around and sell them and call them a KO. And then there's no well, there's no fighting it, all right. So anyway, my my uh, my five, my number one is private feedback so you're gonna look at a lot of feedback things that that's the biggest way to check is feedback but uh but there's other things to look at too but in the feedback if they mark either the comments as private or the items as private that's uh and and my screenshots man i don't know how come i can't get my screenshots to not be so fuzzy so so i'm sorry but but i'm gonna show you a picture of private uh, and th this, and I didn't see any of them where the comments were private right now, but that's a, somehow they can do that. They can flip a switch, mark their comments as private, and then go rogue. Uh, it's, it's just, it's really weird. Like, I'll have ordered from somebody, the, their comments are, are right there, I can read them all, and then I go back a month later, like, where's my stuff, and all of a sudden their comments are private. And they've got 36 uh, negatives, when they had no negatives to start. So uh, that like that's a huge red flag, and I got to tell you that I'll, I'll I'll wait sometimes and watch an item for a couple of months to see if the seller is legitimate, because there's a there's a uh, we'll get into that probationary period, which actually, actually the next point is time that they've been on eBay, because there's a probationary period now. Now a lot of long-term sellers who've been selling for years don't have a probationary period. Like one of my friends that I had on Trey the other day. Uh, and he was on and he sells on eBay and he helped me get into selling on eBay. He didn't know anything about this new probationary period thing. This probationary period is there to, to uh, protect you and to protect eBay and their assets. They, the, basically, when something sells, they, they don't let the seller have the money until the item arrives to the buyer and gives the buyer a couple days to look over the item and then the, the funds are released. And that's how it works. Uh, with the probationary period. So if they've only been selling for two or three months, then the chances are they may not be through the probationary period yet. You may actually get your item, or you may be one of those people that just hit into that go rogue phase. So it's hard to tell. But you want to look for someone that's been around for years. Now that doesn't always work because they may sell, they sell accounts all the time over there. So you could 
get you could go get a uh, uh, buy something from someone who was an honest seller who sold their account, and now you've got a scammer in there who's going to send you a little uh, missile launcher gun trinket or a necklace trinket. In and and then that that you watch your tracking and oh I can't wait for this giant box to show up and then you, it doesn't show up and you go to the post office and then you're at the post office and then they're like, well that no no that's not a 12 inch by 8 inch package that's a, a small envelope, and they showed me a picture actually the post office has ways they they have pictures every time it scans you get a picture of it at certain points so uh, that's how I checked up on that so the next thing is the number of feedback so. Uh, I'm like, I'm not going to talk just about feedback because there's other things to look at, but the, the number of feedbacks that you, they have is a big deal. And if they have like 20 or 12 or 25 or whatever, even 150, uh, that's not, that's not a, like, you can't say that's a great amount of feedback. Uh, the, the people that have like 12,000 and 5,000 and 50,000, those are good feedbacks. But you're, you're looking at all these, it's weird though. I did an MP36 search and I looked for KO MP36 figures. Uh, and of those KO MP36 figures that were all selling about 50 to 60 or 80 bucks, somewhere in that price range, uh, most of those had 150 or less feedbacks, meaning they're new and have only been around for a few months. So there's all starting to have multiple different, uh, if red flags popping up already, they haven't gone rogue yet though. They're still working through the probationary period. And... So that is an issue. So you got to look at number of feedback. You got to look at, it's not just a number because you can fake a hundred. You can, even a 99, and I don't even think a 99 is a bad number, especially if you uh, sell to a lot of people because, you know, people are people. Um, there, there are bad buyers out there too. There are buyer scammers too uh, on eBay. Next thing I want to talk about is price. So price is like ridiculously low versus everything else. You got to wonder, how is this one seller selling less than everyone else what usually happens when they go rogue is it is like they'll drop the price look at uh something that's really low priced look at their other items look at their their uh completed items and the sold items and look if they've had the same item and they were selling it for 68 dollars and now they've relisted it for 40 that is a red flag they're not trying to liquidate their inventory they're just trying to get as many sales in as they can before they run away with your money and that's that's legitimate right there that is uh, that's a legitimate uh red flag concern not a legitimate seller and so when you look at that question the lowest price don't just go i'm rolling them dice on them 40 dollar transformer no uh, that's not the best thing to do and i've been burned i'm gonna tell you okay i was like i'm rolling the dice on that 40 dollar transformer and here i am waiting for my money to get two months later to come back uh, so the lowest price do your research and look into it. And if you feel like rolling the dice and you got you know you got money like that uh, to to put on hold, you it's it, it's worth it. I've gotten a couple of deals that way. That's why I still sometimes roll the dice. But um, then next you got the picture. So a picture, uh, a lot of times they use the factory pictures, the stock pictures. But it's really weird how the exact photo is being used amongst twelve or fifteen different. Uh, sellers now i'm not saying that all 15 of those sellers are bad or any of the sellers are bad but i'm just saying it's a red flag to me that this same picture kind of pops up and especially if it's like in a row ebay doesn't allow a multiple of the exact same item from the same seller so you know, so i start clicking on them and i look they're all different sellers they're all different seller names but they're the same product which is starting to make me wonder like like okay so they're building one person is sitting there building seven accounts so they can sell them and go rogue or or just go rogue themselves. Uh, and so that is a red flag to me. And that that's like pops right up in your head. But they're getting sneakier. And to find... I couldn't find any auctions that had every one of my red flags. I found a few that had multiples. And uh, I'm not here to call out any any bad sellers. But I will give one good seller. It's uh, Bab Bab Bobo. I, I call him Baba Boo Boo. Which I, I say it wrong, I'm sure, but it's Baba Bobo. And I know TM Reviews uh, definitely swears by this uh, seller. And I'm going to tell you why the, the Bab Bab Boo Boo Bobo, uh, why they're a good one. I'll link them in the description too, because they are a good seller and I've been using them for years. What they do, they're the, one of the biggest uh, sellers of Masterpiece Transformers or I mean, just Transformers in general. And you can trust them 
uh, I, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't, but they're actually like a group. It's not just one seller. It's a group of people, uh, an organization, I would say. And what they, they do is they buy up. They're like the biggest buyer, and they buy up excess. They place their order, and they buy what's rest. And that's pretty much what it is. Now, some of my connections uh, that I've spoken with have definitely, they, they've vouched for them also, but I really don't need anyone to vouch for them because I bought, you know, 30, 40 things from them. So they are legitimate. And I'm not gonna. I'm not sitting here to, to tell you who is and who is not legitimate. So I hope that this is helpful for you. I hope I gave you some of these red flags, and and, and I hope you know you don't go out there and and uh, and have and blow any money on an illegitimate seller. Maybe you get one of the deals before they go rogue. Who knows? Like, subscribe to Dairy Hanger Out.